Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Eddie and we are back with more Tekken 7. This time we're going to go over Claudio and all the moves that make him tick. What we can flash, what we can launch, what we can jab, what we can knock him down for. Let's get into it. And the first move on this list is 4, 2, 1, 1 plus 2. From what I was told from like a Claudio player, it's like, oh yeah, nobody's going to do this move. The move is practically useless. There's no such a thing as a useless move in Tekken. This move can be launch punish. However, if it does hit you, he can't go in a starburst from it. Next up, we have 4, 2, 2. This move actually pushes him back. And uh, according to what some of my friends in the Yoshi Discord say, that you can do a crouch dash one on it, but whenever I was there, I couldn't do it. I was able to get a Fubuki knee under the perfect circumstances. As you saw there, sometimes it'll whiff. But in in my recent efforts, the best I was able to get was a Fubuki knee, which is a launcher. It's safe, but that's just the one that I came up with. I did try to do crouch dash one, but to no avail. I don't know if I have to dash up for that, but a Fubuki knee is definitely a solid and easier choice for this move. In this move right here, we got coming up is down forward one, two. Uh, this move is launch punishable, but I also believe that this is also one of his punishes. Mid mid, you get that solid block, you can do a down forward two, you can knee him in the face if you feel personal about it. You know, like I would. This slobber knocker of a move that we have coming up next is down one plus two. It's a legendary shoulder charge. It is launch punishable, though unlikely that someone may do this out in the open. Uh, just know if you run into that shoulder, you can get yourself a knee, you can get yourself a down forward two. You gotta make them pay for that. Looking back on it, that hop knee did look like it had a hard time hitting. It is like if you're in range zero, it will definitely land, but down forward two has more reach and is also safe. So I'd say, you know, down forward two is probably your most solid option. Coming up next in our last move on our block punishable section of this video is his down back three. This move is at least negative 15 on block. It's real seeable. It's also like Anna's from Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2, if you guys remember that one. But you can get a wall rising 2-1 punish from this lovely. Did I say lovely? I didn't mean lovely. From this, I hate this move. I hate it with, with my heart. Moving into the jab punishable section of this video, the first one we have up next is 4-2-1-2. This move is negative 14 on block. So you can get yourself a down forward 1-4 punish. You can even do back 2-2, two, two, I believe, if you want to knock his ass down on the ground. So here's the special part. If we so happen to be in no sword stance blocking this move, we get ourselves a nice dirty flash from it. Ain't that something? Isn't that beautiful? That is awesome. Next up on this list is 1 plus 2. Uh, this particular move is a 3 hit series, but if you do manage to block this move, you can get a down forward 1 4 punish. Uh, if you get counter hit by this move, he will knock you on the ground, do you like 30% of your health, which I think is BS, but that's not the point of this video, and he can go into starburst if he hits you with this move. Coming up next, we have 3 plus 4, a little rolling cradle move that he has. Typically, this move is safe on block in one sword stance. If we so happen to have been in no sword stance and we block this move, we can get ourselves a no sword stance flash from it. We can make him suffer for this move. Up next, we have forward 1 plus 2. Uh, this move is launch punishable on block. You have to be on point for this one. Uh, the funny thing about this move is that in Starburst, he has an unblockable mid that actually comes along with this move. You can launch it. You can't, you can't flash it in one sword stance, but you can flash this in no sword stance. But nonetheless, this move is still very launch punishable. Next up, we have ourselves a little mix up here. We have down forward 3 1, which ends in mid, which is negative 13 on block. And we also have another mix up down forward 3 2, which ends in a high. And you can duck the high, of course, and get yourself a wild rising 2 1 punish. I just want to highlight that this move is a mix up, so the results may vary depending on the player.
up next we have part two of our string collection we got ourselves back four two which is mid but safe on block and we also have a back four three which ends in a high and you can get yourself a nice little punish from that one as well oh yeah sorry and after going back through this this back three this back four three sorry actually ends in high but even despite it being high it's negative 13 to begin with anyway so you don't even have to do oh shit negative 14 you don't even have to duck this move you can if you want the launcher you can also do back two two if you want to knock them down for it and coming up here for this golden tidbit we have back three plus four which is a backswing blow However, if you are if you are lucky enough to punish this move like I'm failing to do in practice mode right now, this move is negative 14 on block. You can get yourself a nice little knockdown with back 2-2, or you can get him with that 31 damage with the down forward 1-4 combo. Please punish this move. This move is negative 13 and crushes everything. Just, 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 just punish this move. I hate this fucking move. After taking some Excedrin for that migraine I got looking at that hot pick, this move is up for 3 plus 4. This move is only negative 10 on block. I don't think I can get a no sword. Yeah, it does not reach, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. But 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two will work perfectly for this move. Perhaps another one of Claudio's most dangerous moves right here is his running two. His running two is high, but it also tracks both ways like a bisexual. Just try to remain calm and try to stay crouching whenever you're far away. Uh, about 80 to 95% of the time, whenever Claudio has finished a combo on, you shut up, watch, and he comes coming after you. He's going to do this move. He might mix it up with a knee or two, but this is mostly the go-to since he can get Starburst from hitting you for this move. We are nearing the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. This move is Wall Rising 1-1, mid-high. You can duck the high for a Wall Rising 2 punish. The, however, this move is still negative 12 on block, so don't fret if you don't duck this move. You can still at least punish it with like a down forward 4. Get yourself a nice little 1-1 one, one, too if you're feeling up for it. The last move we're going to cover before we go into his 10 hit combo is his sidestep 4. This move is a very sheep move. However, you can low parry this bad boy, get yourself a combo for it. If you do find yourself blocking it, you can get a wall rising 4 on it. You can't launch it, unfortunately, but hey, a wall rising 4 that's promised is better than a launcher that is not promised. At least that's the way I think about it. Next, we're going to go over Claudio's moves that he has in Starburst. He has five moves, and the first one, we're going to start off with forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. Please recall earlier in my video where I said that forward, forward 1 plus 2 was launch punishable on block. If Claudio is in Starburst, he has a second extension that is also in mid, and he can combo off of it. Another thing, to good, another thing to know that this move is safe on block. You can't punish this move at all when he is in Starburst. So if you do catch him doing that move outside of Starburst, just know that you'll be able to punch him. Or maybe if they delay it well enough, you might be able to get a flash in between. But I wouldn't risk that if I were you. The next move on our list from Starburst is down 1-2. This move is typically used in combos, only to give him Starburst again. This move is safe on block. Let's just move on. Next up on our list for Claudio Starburst move, we have perhaps the most dangerous one being down 2-2. Two, two. This move is two lows, and the funny thing about this is that it's not unblockable like Yoshi's Swords move. However, in Starburst, you can, you can get hit by the first hit and block the second hit, but you can't punish it. Adding on, I think this move is also like maybe negative... 12 on block. I can only get a wall rising to oh uh, sorry now a wall rising four from this move and perhaps the most dangerous move that Claudio has in his arsenal is down back one plus two out of starburst it's a normal mid but then it goes into an unblockable I do recommend that you flash or you try to hit him out of this when he's when you see him trying to do this move 
and our last move out of Claudio's Starburst Arsenal, we have back three, four, one plus two. In Starburst, he gets an extra move added on to this negative 12 combo, I believe. This negative 12 string, I mean, and he can get a combo off of it. However, if he is in Starburst and he does this move, it is only negative 10 on block. You can't get much of anything after it. I don't recommend flashing it. I really don't even recommend sidestepping this move. I say just block it, just get yourself a nice little 1-1 one, one, and then be on your way. And last but not least is his 10 hit combo. If you ever run into this move, please remember to low parry the 5th hit in this combo. You never know who might need this, so I'm placing this here for someone, anyone, who might need this in the future. And my fellow Manji Warriors, this marks the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, dro drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't. As a YouTuber, I am required by YouTube law to let you know that you need to like this video every single time. So if you just be a doll and do that for me, I'd highly appreciate it. If there's another way that you guys can help me make my future videos better, also drop a comment for that as well. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.